Hi, I'm John Wimmers. And uh, today I wanted to actually talk about my, one of my favorite movies. It's called Stranger Than Fiction, it stars Will Ferrell and uh, Maggie Gyllenhaal and Dustin Hoffman and Emma Thompson. And unlike most of his movies where he's very comical about it, this is a straightforward movie. Uh, it ends up in being about a narrator that's talking about his life. And for some reason he can hear it and he doesn't understand why. And it sends this whole entire world into a world whirlwind. Now the issue is, is that at some point he ends up, his watch stops and he gets the time. And the narrator pipes in and says that with a seemingly simple and innocuous act will be leading to his imminent death. And at this point, he realized, wait a second, what, what are you talking about? What, why me, he yells out, why me? What are you talking about? But the key part of that is little did he know. Uh, Dustin Hoffman talks later on about how he has an entire series, an entire lecture based on little did he know. He wrote the book on little did he know. So my question for you is, in life, what are we looking at are, in our story? We always have that moment where little did we know that something was going to happen. Hindsight is always 2020. Little did we know that at the beginning of this year, things would be put into a whirlwind. Changes left and right and everywhere. Little did we know what that was gonna look like later. On the night that Jesus broke bread and sat down with the disciples and he explained to them, this is my body and this is my blood. Little did they know this was the last time that this would be happening. That all the conversations that they had had, that at some point I would like to imagine that they got used to Jesus's metaphors and how he spoke and not until later on did they realize what it really meant. This has to be the biggest key to everything. That at some point they realized after he was crucified that little did they know that moment in that room as he broke bread and said, this is my body broken for you, and this is my blood shed for you, what he was truly meaning. As they sit there and bicker about, you know, who's his favorite, and oh no, he loves me more, and I can only assume how many other people were piping in with, oh no, Jesus and I like to do this. Little did they know the pettiness of what was going on had nothing to do with what was about to happen. So in our lives, we have to go through and realize we have to move forward. In the movie, Harold starts, that's Wolf Harold, he starts to realize that he needs to start living. Before, before this moment, he was just doing his day to day. And then at that moment when he realized that he was about to die and his whole world was changed, he started to live because he didn't know what was to come. He didn't know why he was going to die or when he was going to die, but he realized that he needed more. So for us, at what point do we make sure that in our story, that we are living to our fullest? Because honestly, most of the time, we go through life day to day, not knowing why Jesus lets things happen to us the way that they do good or bad. Uh, there's a quote that I've always liked. You are someone else's protagonist. Actually, antagonist, sorry. Uh, that you are someone else's villain in their story. So how do we re approach life and how do we make sure that we are living it to our fullest? Are we shedding the light and having Jesus's light going through us. Is this the last time that we will be able to have an interaction with this person before they move to a new job and you don't see them again? Every moment that we have has to be something special. Just like if those disciples would have known that that was the last night that they were gonna be doing that with Jesus, I have a feeling everything would have been completely different. 
So as we go to this time of prayer, think of your own lives and, and try to remember to, to push forward no matter what part of the story you're in, to take an active role in the story that God has created for us. Lord, I thank you for this day. I thank you for the time that we have each and every day to speak with one another, to love with one another, and to be there for one another. I ask that you will bless this offering and for you to be with us daily and for us to always remember that the blood and the body and what your sacrifice meant. Uh, thank you and amen. <laughs>